The NBA preseason is over, and we are going into the first week of the regular season. On this Thursday, we have the 76ers versus the Bucks. Um, I'm thinking that the 76ers have this one. The past few seasons, um, the Bucks have won more in their head-to-head -head matchups, but um, now the 76ers have P.J. Tucker and they have Joel Embiid, um, and those are two great players that I think give them a really good chance against the Bucks. What do you think? So, um, you know, the Sixers will be good this season. The Bucks will be even better, in my opinion. So I'm going to go with the Bucks solely reason because they have P.J. Tucker, who was like 5'6", guarding Giannis, who is 7'10", almost. So it will be an unfair matchup at that point. Giannis will probably put up 50 on his head, so I'm going with the Bucks. And then this Friday, we also have the Celtics versus the Heat. This will be a great game, as though the Celtics and the Heat are two very great teams, but the Celtics made it further than them in the playoffs, so this season. But I will have to go with the Heat on this one, you know. Jimmy Butler will do what he has to do to get it done, and Kyle Lowry will also have a great game. So. Yeah, they're pretty evenly matched, but the Celtics have a preliminary rank going into this season at number three. Um, they're looking pretty promising, so I think I'm going to have to go with the Celtics on this one. Um, also, this Friday, we're going to be seeing the Warriors versus the Nuggets. Uh, the Warriors' preliminary ranking is number one, and the Nuggets players, um, Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic, are both returning from injuries. So we're going to have to see, you know, how they're reacclimating, yep. how they do. So um, I'm going to have to go with the Warriors on this one. The Warriors, see, yeah. The Golden State Warriors are a great team, but they have a little bit of tension going on between Jordan Poole and Draymond Green. And being, though, that Jamal Murray came back and Bones Highlands is still on that Nuggets team, I'm going with the Nuggets. You know, Jokic came off of MVP season last year. And I feel like he's the best center in the league, so I'm going with the Nuggets. Now, moving on to NFL, this Sunday we have the Chiefs versus the 49ers. Patrick Mahomes, you know, came off a disappointing L this past Sunday. But I see him bouncing back and shaking back. And I think the Chiefs will beat the 49ers. They will squeeze out this win. Definitely. I'm going to have to agree with you there. Um, they're pretty evenly matched, and like the Nuggets, the 49ers, um, they lost Emmanuel Mosley for the season due to a torn ACL, and Nick Bosa and Robbie Gold are injured, and they're not guaranteed to play. They might. Um, so without those players, it's not looking good for them. So Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, the Browns versus the Ravens um, is also happening this Sunday. And I'm thinking Ravens. Uh, they might not have the best defense, but um, they have a great offense. They have Lamar Jackson and Justin Tucker, who are both very strong players. So I'm thinking Ravens. Uh, see, Lamar Jackson did lose to the Giants this past weekend. So uh, the Browns aren't much better than the Ravens. So I will have to go with the Browns on this one, even though they're not like it's really an even matchup at this point because both teams are pretty terrible. So I'm going with the Browns. You know, Nick Chubb will get it done for the Browns. And then Halloween Eve, we do have a special matchup that night. The battle among Philly. Well, Pennsylvania in that course. We have the Eagles versus the Steelers, you know. The Eagles just keep winning week by week. It's very surprising to me, very shocking. And the Steelers are just looking god-awful week by week. So in this case, I'm going to go with the Eagles. No-brainer. Yeah, the Steelers have been struggling quite a bit, and the Eagles are still undefeated. Um, they're doing great, so I have to agree with you. The Eagles definitely have this one. Moving on to college football this Saturday, we're going to see UCLA versus Oregon. They're pretty evenly matched teams, but I'm going to have to lean towards UCLA on this one. Yes, the battle of the Pac-12 division, you know, the West Coast battle. Oregon got absolutely destroyed this season by Georgia, so I don't really think they have any, like, they're not good at all. In my opinion, they shouldn't be ranked. So I'm going to go with UCLA on this one, you know. And then this Saturday, we have a big homecoming matchup between the home team, Uni University of Delaware versus Morgan State. Yes. You know, Morgan State, season by season, is god-awful. And UD this season is, you know, they're having a pretty great season, even though they lost. But I feel like they will shake back, bounce back, and they will beat Morgan by nearly 60 points, so... Yeah, we're not undefeated anymore, but we are still undefeated at home. So I'm thinking that with homecoming, I think that'll give them exactly what they need to be able to pull the victory out of this one. Um, next Saturday, on October 29th, we're going to see Georgia versus Florida. They're playing their annual rivalry game in the neutral territory of Jacksonville. And Georgia has been doing great. They're ranked number one. Um, I'm thinking Georgia. What do you think? Yeah, you know, Georgia is number one. They shouldn't be, though. In my opinion, it should be the Ohio State University, but we're not going to speak on that at this time. So uh, 
Florida isn't good this season, but they're also a team to watch out for. But I just think Georgia's defense is just going to overpower Florida's offense. So, you know, Georgia will win probably by 100 points. Who knows? It will be a blowout win, though. Yeah, maybe. We teamed up with the UD Cockpit Instagram and asked you to vote for your predictions on their story. And here is what you all said. So you guys said between the Sixers and the Bucks this weekend, you will have the Sixers at 76% and the Bucks 24 I can agree. I can agree. You know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Then the Celtics versus the Heat. The Celtics 64%, the Heat 36 I can't agree on that one. I will be going with the Heat. So uh, I'm sorry, UD fans, but I'm going with the Heat. Sounds right to me. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the Warriors versus the Nuggets. You have the Warriors at 87% and the Nuggets at 13 That's a very large margin considering, even though I understand... The Warriors did come off winning the championship last season, but I'm going with the Nuggets on this one, so I can't agree with you on this one either. Well, moving on to the NFL games, we have the Chiefs versus the 49ers. You said 78% for the Chiefs and 22% for the 49ers. That looks exactly right. That makes sense. I think the Chiefs definitely have this one. Um, then for the Ravens versus the Browns, you all said 82% for the Ravens, 18% for the Browns. Again, I have to agree with you all. I think that is the right decision. Uh, finally, for the NFL polls, we have the Eagles versus the, Steeler, the Steelers. You said 87% for the Eagles, 13% for the Steelers. Again, I think you all are very smart. I think that's exactly right. So now we have the college football polls. You have Oregon at 57% and UCLA at 42 <sighs> Can't really agree on that one, you know. I can't, you know. <sighs> then we have UD at 97% and Morgan at 3%. I'm surprised UD isn't 100% considering the UD people voted, which doesn't make sense to me. It should be 100 to 0. Morgan is awful. And then we have Georgia versus Florida. You have Georgia at 60 and Florida at 40%. Yep, I can agree, yeah. But it was probably more like 80 to 20, you know? Right, exactly. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time for Hen Sports Night.